today I have a basket of goodies that are going to show my favorite craft doll. As you might guess, it's knitting. Um, but while we're sitting here talking about the project, I really love this basket in which I store all my knitting in. So I'm working on a bead blanket for one of my friends. I'm calling it my bumblebee blanket. Um, so it's going to be these three colors. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a triangle that's going to attach to the blanket. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, first we need to start with knitting needles. Um, this is a circular needle, so it's a little easier to work with. And then you need your yarn. Right now I'm using yellow yarn, yellow yarn, because it is the, uh, the color that's next up in my project. So first you cast on, which is basically making a slip knot, and then you keep that on there tight. Then for what I'm making, let's get that over there. You're going to want to go one in front and one in back. And then you're going to do the same over here on this first stitch. You're going to go one in front. And if you can catch it, because it looks like I made a mess of it already, <laughs> you're going to go one one in back. And that way, it's going to just get a little bit longer with each row. And then the right yarn, one in front, and one in back. And then you're going to go to the center and knit, and knit. And then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to go one in front. And sometimes the needles like to be problematic, and that's okay. You're going to go one in front and one in back. And then you're going to knit all across. So far we should have a tight little triangle like that. Our goal is to get 25 in a row and then we'll decrease. And I got one in front, one in back, and forward.
normal size. How many stitches do we have on there right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a little ways to go still. Knit in the front and knit in the back. For this project, it's knitting all the time, and most projects I make, you do use purling and sometimes cabling. Um, this is a very simple project, it's just knitting, knitting. And knitting some more. It's very simple, very repetitive, very relaxing. Sometimes they do fall off. We just catch them. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. Turn it around again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is kind of a sleepy hobby. Um, if you don't like repetitive things, you're not going to like knitting. I go pretty fast usually. You can see me going like this.
there's nothing relaxing about seeing hands going that fast. So how many stitches do you think we have now? Let's count. Knitting involves a lot of counting to make sure your stitches are always correct. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So we have to do eleven more before we start decreasing. One, two, Getting so close to where we can decrease. I think I'm going to whisper until I hit 25.
Half a triangle, guys. Well, a little triangle, but half of what we're doing. So we are officially halfway there. So now comes the fun part and the quick part decreasing. So, what you do when you decrease is you put two stitches in one hole and then you just continue knitting like normal. It's nice tapping. You know that the cord on the needle likes to decide to party on its own sometimes. It's really silly. So that was one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Stop counting.
method of finishing this triangle. I'm going to show you how to bind off. So when you bind off, you're going to cast on one, cast on two, and you're going to pull this first stitch over that stitch. You're going to cast on one, and then you're going to bind off two. And you're just going to basically repeat that whole process all the way down. Binding off is really easy, but it seems a lot more difficult than it is. Sometimes I forget how to do it. And I've been knitting for a very long time. And then once you get to that last spot, you try to find your scissors and take that, cut it off. Tie a little knot in it, and then you have a finished product. And it's very, very soft. And then once you're done knitting, you get your basket back with all of your supplies. And you wind up you wind up your yarn you use today. If it lets you. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes yarn is picky. And then you just pop it in that basket. And I like to stick my needles in a thing of yarn. I put my scissors in there and deep. And then I fold the project I'm working on right on top. And then we have our basket. Thank you for knitting with me. Good night.